Welcome in the Steelers Talk by Chat Sports. My name is Jack Sperry. I will be your host today. We got a great show lined up for you today. Steelers 2023 free agents. The Steelers have 24 players that are slated to be hit the free agency market. We will be going over all 24 names and which guys I would bring back for 2023. But before we get into today's action, I just wanted to congratulate you guys, the Yinzers out there, uh, for really doing a great job on Monday's comment driver. Okay, we did a competition here at Chat Sports. We didn't quite win. All right, Bears now and Raiders report uh, had us beat but we were third in the entire chat sports category of channels for the most comments on a video and man that's a that's a huge accomplishment because guys Steelers we're not even the top 10 biggest channels here at chat sports so pound for pound we really did the best in my opinion so congratulations to you guys that's one heck of an accomplishment and this got me thinking if we broke the record for the most comments on a video earlier this week we could do the same thing for likes and the most that we've ever done on a video here at Steelers talk is 1,000 1,774. That's a lot of likes, but I know that thousands of people are going to be watching this video. We know who you guys are, so let's break that record today, smash that like button, and let's set the record today for the most likes ever in Steelers Talk history. All right, so now let's get into uh, some of these free agency rumors here. Uh, earlier in the week, I did cut candidates for the Steelers, and these are the six players that I had cu had them cutting. William Jackson third, a core four, Trubisky, Adams, Olszewski, and then Killebrew. And then the players uh, that are cut candidates that could be cut, but I said that they could bring back, uh, or that I would bring back, is Miles Jack, the linebacker, uh, Akella Witherspoon, the cornerback, Levi Wallace, and then Arthur Mollett, the nickel corner. I think the Steelers are going to be in general trying to keep the defense together because they really did well to finish out the 2022 season. I think they're going to try to keep the band together for the most part. So after all these things happened, the cap room for the Steelers would be at about $34.1 million to spend on free agents and re-sign and re players that are hitting free agency. So that's not a ton. So I think the Steelers are going to have to be pretty sparse with who they bring back. So let's just dive into the first name here, which is Larry Ogan Joby, the defense Defensive tackle. I think that it would be a good idea to bring back Larry because he's a good player. He's a and he's not going to cost that much, guys. I I, I have them bringing him back for 3.5 million dollars on a one-year contract, which is about what Spotrack.com projects is his market value right now. Uh, if they don't bring back Ogan Joby, I think it's for either two reasons. Number one, you're bringing in a guy like J.J. Watt out of retirement, which let's let's face it, you can't be counting on that right now. Or they trust Demarvin Leal to a send to that five technique position on the defensive line and they don't feel like they need Larry uh, but I, I'm not sure if I trust uh, DeMarvin to, to step up into that full-time starting role yet so I would go ahead and pay Larry for another one-year contract hope that De DeMarvin does a good job in a rotational role and then hopefully by uh, 2024 he's ready to ascend to that position all right guys go in the comment section right now and tell me should the Steelers re-sign Larry Ogunjobi this offseason type Y if you think yes or type N if you think no, this is the pinned comment on today's video. So whenever you get an ad break here on the show, just go ahead and go into the comment section, find that pinned comment. It'll be right there at the top and answer today's question. All right, number two on my list is Cameron Sutton. So Cam, uh, he's somebody that really ascended as the Steelers' cornerback won this past uh, or this past season. He did great on the outside. Uh, he's played in the slot. He's a really good slot corner as well. And I just think that he's too valuable to let go. So right now, Spotrack.com says it's going to take about $7.6 million per season on a three-year deal to go get him. So I will, I will gladly pay that. Uh, I think maybe even more realistically because because he had such a good season this past year, it might be a bit higher than that. It might get up to like $10 million, maybe $11 million per year. But he is somebody that is instrumental to the success of the Steelers secondary, in my opinion. I think you got to bring him back. So whatever the price is, unless if it doesn't exceed $13 million, I would probably go out and pay it. So with the Steelers looking to upgrade this season, you need to upgrade your financial situation with our sponsor today at Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill. Guys, uh, Monthly subscriptions, like they can get out of hand. Like you, you, you pay for all these different streaming services, all, all these different things, and it can get really, really tough to keep track of all of them. But Rocket Money does a great job at helping you with this problem. The app shows you all of your subscriptions in one place and then cancels for you whatever you don't still want. Rocket Money can even find subscriptions that you didn't even know that you were paying for. You may even find that you've been double charged for a subscription. To cancel a subscription on the Rocket Money app, all you have to do is press cancel and Rocket Money takes 
takes care of the rest for you. Get rid of use of subscriptions with Rocket Money now. Go to rocketmoney.com slash Steelers Talk to help out the channel a little bit, but also help your financial situation. This has helped me solve my monthly subscription problem. It's saving me a ton of money because I'm not paying for stuff that I don't need to be paying for anymore. You can do the same. Go to rocketmoney.com slash Steelers Talk uh, to help out your financial situation and help out the channel a little bit. All right, so third on my list, I would bring back the strong safety Terrell Edmonds. And the reason why I think that is because I think that he has great chemistry with Minka Fitzpatrick. He knows the defense. He grades well uh, from PFF standards. I think he does a really good job playing his role in this defense. And I think that he would be a really good uh, fit long term. Now, Spotrack.com projects that it will take two years, $5.5 million per season to bring him back. I think that Terrell is absolutely worth that, even though strong safety isn't a, an overly uh, influential a position on the football field. I do think that $5.5 million is a fair asking price for him. So if it's around this mark, I think that he will be back with the team. He wants to be back. The Steelers want him back. I think at the end of the day, Edmonds will be back with the Steelers in 2023. Number four on my list of guys I'm bringing back is DeMonte KZ, the free safety. Now, you might be saying, Jack, what the heck? You already have your free safety in Minka Fitzpatrick, and you have your strong safety in Terrell Edmonds. Why are we re-signing somebody that the Steelers don't necessarily need? So the reason why I think this, I think that the Steelers will bring him back, number one, he's a great guy in the locker room. He's somebody that's a real spark plug, someone that's a good player, somebody that the players respect, but also, I really like it when the Steelers play that three safety package, when they got KZ at free safety. You got Minka in there and then Terrell Edmonds goes down into the box and plays a hybrid linebacker safety role and it really confuses offenses. It makes it tough to decipher what the Steelers are doing coverage wise and I really like uh, the, the fact that Casey's a good locker room dude. He's a good player. You, you know you can really mix things up defensively when he's on your team and he's not going to be that expensive guys. He's never made more than $2.5 million per season. I think that if, you, if the, we offer them two years, $2.5 million per year, he would take that offer Obviously, safety is not as valuable of, as of, of a position, and KZ didn't play a huge role for the Steelers uh, last season, but I think that this would be completely worth it for the Steelers because it gives you variability in your defensive sets. I think he's a really good player, great for the locker room. I would definitely bring him back for this price. The 2023 offseason is just getting started for the Steelers, so if you want one place to get all of your Steelers news and rumors coverage uh, here on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. We're just uh, we're just under 300 subscribers away from 21K here at Steelers Talk, and we give you daily Steelers news and rumors videos, mock drafts every other couple weeks, right? We got a bunch of great stuff, breaking news coverage whenever the Steelers make a move, so if you want one place to get all of your Steelers coverage this offseason, go ahead and click that subscribe button right now. And the final name on my list here is Robert Spillane. Guys, I would bring back, that is, inside linebacker, somebody that, you know, it gives you a bit of variability if you're the Steelers' front office. You can bring somebody in at, in free agency and, and, and bench Robert Spillane. You can bring in a rookie and have him learn behind Robert Spillane. Uh, I think that Spillane's somebody that you can trust to play in this system. Uh, but, you know, you're not going to pay him too much. I have the Steelers paying $2.5 million on a one-year deal. And I think the reason why you do this is you're, you're keeping Miles Jack in this scenario, so you're probably looking to maybe replace that linebacker two position, but you want to have somebody that, you know, you, it, that doesn't force your hand, right? They don't have to take, get somebody in free agency. They don't have to draft somebody if Robert Spillane is there. You'd like to pick somebody up, but if you get Spillane at this team-friendly rate, you don't have to feel like you are forced to do anything in free agency or the draft. That's why I like him. I would bring him back for that price. And once you take all, all these guys re-signing, the Steelers would have about $12.5 million to spend on free agents, which, which honestly is not that much, guys. It really isn't. I think the Steelers aren't going to be making these big, flashy moves this offseason. But uh, in a later video, I am actually going to be revealing uh, who th the four players I actually think the Steelers will be hunting for in the postseason. So make sure to tune into that video. But let me know in the comments section right now, which players would you like the Steelers to re-sign in 2023? Is there somebody that I missed that you want back on the Steelers? Let me know in the comments section right now. All right, so here are all of the other players here that I would say the Steelers would probably need to let go. Mason Rudolph is, a, un, is an unrestricted free agent. Devin Bush wasn't playing at the end of the year. Derek Watt is a bit of a surprising one because a lot of Steelers fans want him back. He's a fan favorite. I get it, but he's probably going to be looking for 
$5 million at least per season as a fullback. That's one of the most expensive fullback contracts in the league. I'm not sure if I'm willing to pay that, especially with the budget that the Steelers have this offseason. I think he's going to have to go. Uh, Tyson Alulu, obviously not very good. Wormley, let him go. And then you got Sims and Pierre, who are restricted free agents, so they could absolutely return. I would, I would probably extend them uh, an offer there, the the extended offer there, but uh, Zach Gentry, the tight end, probably going to be gone as well, so you're left with Firemuth and Hayward in the tight end room, and then some of these guys, you know, they're, see, you get, see you later, guys. Like, these guys are backups. These guys are the other people that I would say, just let them go. Uh, you know, they're not restricted free agents. Just let them go. I mean, Hassanauer's all right, right? I think we mentioned Alulu twice here, uh, but Marcus Allen, you know, he's had some behavior issues. These are the guys that I would say, I don't even think about it, just let them go. Uh, but at the end of the day, guys, I, th I think that this is a really exciting time to be a Steelers fan. I think they're going to make some nice re-signings. I think that they're going to be pretty darn good in 2023. And, you know, I'm looking forward to what the Steelers are going to do in free agency as well. Uh, but, be but before we get into all that here, uh, the last bit of news, the Steelers did sign an outside linebacker this week, Quincy Roche. Uh, uh, to a futures contract on Tuesday. So uh, Roche, he was drafted by the Steelers in 2021. He was picked up by the Giants. He's actually started quite a few games over, the, over these last two years, so it wouldn't surprise me at all to see him make the Steelers roster in 2023. He's a pretty decent player, maybe as like a rotational piece behind Alex Highsmith and TJ Watt. So this is definitely something to keep your eye on here. Uh, but tomorrow, like I said uh, a couple of times on this video, we're going to be doing an ideal Steelers free agency plan uh, based Based on the scenarios that I've gone through today, they have about $12.5 million. I'm going to be spending all of that in tomorrow's video, so make sure to tune into that. Turn on notifications as well so you, so you can get notified when we put out that video. I appreciate you, Steeler Nation. Thanks for tuning in today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.